Castro with the three that rimmed around, came back out, he'll put it up from the foul line this time, and Blatch. Castro, quick crossover onto the right oh, hand, no. lovely hesitation on the dribble as well. Timed it to perfection and made it easy for his big man. There's a gap, and you don't want to give that man a gap. The blur bursts into the paint to fit with it, runs into Blatch though. Castro in support, low catch and forced away back to Norwood. Castro now wide open for the three, nails it from the outside to double the lead for the Philippines and to force a ram to call timeout. What a start from the Philippines. Smart play from Castro, he recovered the turnover, didn't rush it straight away, out to Norwood, split up a six point gap. And a little bit of breathing room, Castro. Oh, what a move. Tremendous dribble from Castro. Under the basket, finds Blatch. Over to the far side, Romeo's going to shoot a three again. This time he gets it to go from a couple of feet beyond the perimeter. You stop that penetrator getting into the heart of the defense. Romeo with the three after missing his previous attempt. He takes up so much space and he cleans the glass. Castro, who can get to the rim in a couple of seconds, kicks it back out for the three. They keep persisting off the glass. Three at the end of the first half. Castro looking to drive between the two red shirts again. Lightning fast move, and he lays it in. I was about to... Herdadi onto the far side to Jamshidi, who looks to drive in. Shot clock down to three here, and it's picked off by Castro. Lightning fast steal, and he finishes at the other end as well to close... And it... Romeo. Pulls back for a three of his own and nails it for the go-ahead basket. The Philippines looking to wrestle top spot from the reigning champions. And they're fair. Here comes Romeo at pace. Thinks about it, pulls up for another three oh. and gets the hop as well. Back-to-back -back threes. Blatch to Romeo. Drives into the lane again, hangs it up and banks it in. Romeo with... Looking to influence the rhythm himself now. He drives inside, plays it to a Bueva, who was looking. Yeah, important the Philippines get a couple of early baskets to keep that pressure on. And Castro does just that. Strikes a big blow from downtown. Castro away from him. Shot clock down to threes. He throws it up off the glass and gets the foul as well and a chance at a three-point play and the iran team arguing amongst themselves they were saying who's going to help but they're so used to ehadade giving the help and he was minding blatch who was pinned to the three-point line on the weak side straight up gets his hand on top of the ball castro into the paint tremendous move from castro again who now has 24. you don't get much more high percentage than that Masha Iki, steal. Castro comes up with the steal. Takes us right down to the final few seconds of the shot clock. Spins away in the oh, lane oh, oh. and puts it in. Highlight reel. Sahakian will take the final shot of the game. What a game for the Philippines. They avenge their final defeat of two years. Looked down and out in this tournament. They look like a team struggling to qualify for the quarterfinals. Now all of a sudden, they're in the box seat for the number one seed in Group E. And you can see what it means to them.